Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I want to bring your attention to the biggest NFT launch this week, which will produce thousands and thousands in profit. I want to show you my game plan as well as my thought process here on how I'm thinking about playing this and then break it down to you so you can understand if this is something that you want to do. Uh, because in my eyes, this is a guaranteed profit. It's just a matter of executing and you know what plan are you going to follow. So let me show you what's up, guys. They've got 14,000 followers, and I do believe the pre-sale mint will be tomorrow, October 6th, but no official uh, mint date yet announced. But you can see here if we go to nftscoring.com and we go to trending this week, this is the number one trending uh, project this week. Now, I don't know what's wrong with the site here. It's not uh, letting me scroll up. But uh, yeah, you can see this is the number one trending uh, project this week. Uh, their followers are up 381% in the last seven days. Blah, 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 whatever. Okay, so there's a lot of attention. There's a lot of hype for it. Uh, basically, this project is created by some well-known artist, supposedly, who used to draw and make cartoons in the Hustler magazine. And so, obviously... You know, that goes a long way in the NFT space because people can get behind and people can hype up the littlest things. So if you can attach any kind of credibility or reputability to your name, I mean, it just makes your project stand out like a champion, right? So basically, uh, this is kind of what they look like here. And uh, we do expect this to produce great profits. So let me show you, though, some of the downsides you have to understand here. For this project if you're trying to get in and make a profit or just hold or maybe just like the art or whatever I want to break down the most important thing on projects that have a lot of hype momentum and people behind it okay and that is the gas fees the gas fees will be expensive if you're trying to mint this on the public sale so I want to give you a breakdown based on my experience what you could be looking at here so I want to start off with the example of the galaxy eggs which was a project that launched a couple or a few weeks ago okay so galaxy eggs uh, had about I think 25,000 followers going into their launch and galaxy eggs uh, mint uh, minting gas price and fees were about twenty five hundred dollars to uh, seventy five hundred dollars just for gas okay not even for the cost of the actual art itself so just in gas you're paying seventy five hundred dollars here uh, on the upper end depending on when you actually pull the trigger on that gas okay but I want to break down to you why you shouldn't be afraid of this gas if you actually have the money okay uh, so let's actually do the math here okay so the galaxy eggs and guys it's been a few weeks since I uh, took part in this launch so I'm trying to remember the exact numbers but I believe to mint one single egg it was about 0 0.08 uh, ETH Okay, and I think you could mint about 12. I honestly don't remember. It's been a few weeks now, okay? So basically, you could mint 12 of these for 0 0.08. That would be a total cost of 0.96, guys. So for 0.96 ETH, right? I think I did the math there. 0 0.08 times 12 is 0.96. And by the way, guys, we're going to get back to explaining Jungle Freaks here. But if you're looking to get in, this is super important. So pay attention to this example because this is how you determine your profitability on this project this week. Is you have to understand the gas cost. Okay, the gas is huge. Okay, so you are paying 0.96 ETH for 12 eggs, guys. Okay, 12. The gas was $7,500, which let's say that's about 2 ETH right there, right? So in total, you're spending about 3 ETH for 12 eggs. Okay, so 3 ETH for 12 eggs. For 12 eggs. Okay, now the reason this is important is because after, let's say, they were going for about 0.8 the day after you could have minted them. They, so basically, they 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 went from 0 0.08 all the way to 0.4 on the initial, like as soon as they launched, they had already 5x, okay, the, the price of the art. Now if you gave it one day, they actually, the next day they went up to 0.8 ETH. Okay, and if you gave it the day that the reveal actually happened, the Galaxy Eggs went up to 1.2 Ethereum floor, uh, at like right after the, the launch. Then it dumped off after. Okay, but do the math here, 0 0.08 into 1.2. I'll actually put that in the calculator right now. That's basically a, that's a 15x gain. Okay, so you're making 1,500% from your mint price up to 
the the cost you could have sold at the top now you're not always going to sell the top exactly and perfectly but let's just break this down okay so you're getting a 1500 percent return on 12 eggs you spent let's just say 0.96 okay so let's do 0.96 times 1500 or would that be times 15 0.96 times 15 you could have made 14.4 ethereum here if you sold the top and minted 12 Okay, so 14.4 Ethereum, guys, is how much? That's roughly $40,000, $50,000, right? So that's about $50,000 right there, okay? So understand that despite paying, let's say you've spent $7,500 in gas and you spent 0.96 Ethereum on the eggs. That's overall, that's about $11,000 you spent, okay? But it still ends up being extremely profitable if you sold it at 1.2 you're making fifty thousand dollars you see what I mean so there are projects where actually paying these ridiculous gas fees it actually makes sense depending on the quantity that you can mint now important thing to understand guys okay let's zoom out here or delete this you have to understand that whether you're minting one or twelve or twenty or thirty of that type of art the gas fee is typically the exact same, no matter if you're minting one or 12. And this is why it's highly favorable to be someone with money in this space. If you have the money, it's easier to make a lot more money. Okay, because for example, if you're just trying to get one piece of art, it's still gonna cost you $7,500 in gas. And so in that case, it is not worth it whatsoever. Okay, but if you're minting 12, then it's super worth it. You see what I mean? Because either way, whether you're buying one or 12, you're still paying 7,500 in gas. Okay. So that's why we don't know the official uh, amount that you're going to be able to mint here yet. Okay. But we can kind of come to a couple guesstimates on what that could be for the public sale. Okay. So the public sale, let's say they do three, uh, they allow you to mint three maximum per transaction. And let's say I think the gas would probably be around 2500 for this project. Okay, now they're going for 0 0.07 for one. Okay, so in total you're spending about 0 0.21 ETH plus 2500 in gas, which is, that's another 0 0.7. So 0 0.21 plus 0 0.7, you're spending about 0 0.91 ETH, okay, to get three of these. Now if we expect... Okay, the price of these jungle freaks, and this is my prediction, this is my estimation, I think these won't be under a 1 Ethereum floor, and I think anything below 1 Ethereum floor is, is a really good deal, to be honest. And, and that's just my estimation, that's just my prediction, that's my logical judgment. And so think about it, if you have three, and they're all going for 1 Ethereum, well, that's 3 Ethereum. And in total, you put 0.91 into the trade, that's a 3x right there. Okay, now let's say actually these blow our expectations out of the water. Let's say these are actually going for two Ethereum floor. Well, then that would be six Ethereum because you've got three times two, six Ethereum. That's a six X right there. Okay, so if gas is around 2,500 like I expect it to be and you can mint around three, I'm expecting at least a 300 to a 600% return on this trade. So that's kind of my breakdown of what I'm expecting here for the Jungle Freaks. Um, but guys, this is where the power of NFTs is just absolutely incredible, is let's say the maximum that you can mint is not three. Let's say you can actually mint six. Let's say you can actually mint 12, guys. Okay, I highly doubt you're going to be able to mint 12. I, so, but let's just say you can't, all right? We don't know the official details yet. But remember, if you're doing 12, for remember the cost is 0 0.07. I suck at math, but let's just say, what is that, like 0 0.8 or something? 0.9? I don't know, guys. I suck. I can't do math. So let's say that's 0 0.8 Ethereum plus 2,500 in gas. That's around, what, five grand invested into the trade? So 5K. But imagine you have 12 of these guys, okay, and they sell for one Ethereum each. Well, you're getting 12 Ethereum out, okay? So in total, you're investing about 1.5 Ethereum, right? $5,000 is worth 1.5 Ethereum roughly. So you're turning 1.5 Ethereum into 12 Ethereum. That's a 10x if you're allowed to mint 12, okay? So even though you have to pay these ridiculous gas fees, it's still extremely profitable, okay? And that's what you have to do. Before these launches come out, you have to do the math and you have to break it down. So if we can mint three, now we're looking at a three to six X profit. If we can mint six actually, right? Let's do the math here. Six times 0 0.07, that's 0.42 ETH plus the gas, 2,500, that's another 0.5. 
I mean, that's what, around one Ethereum you'd be invested into this trade, right? Well, if all six of these jungle freaks go to a one Ethereum floor, that's going to be a six Ethereum out. That's a six X right there. Okay. So right here, we're expecting a three to a six X. Here, you're expecting a six to a 12 X. And here you're expecting what? What is this guys? I forgot, but yeah, you get the point, right? So depending on the quantity you'll be able to mint per transaction is going to greatly affect your profitability here. So these are kind of the rundowns I've went through in my mind, getting prepared for the public mint here. Okay, now actually, if you didn't know, you can get whitelisted, okay, which means you're gonna be able to get access before the public sale. Now, the reason the gas fees are so high during a public sale is because the blockchain can only handle so many transactions at once, right? So if you got 10,000 of these guys and 50,000 people are trying to process them at once, Obviously, there's a war on who's going to get it, right? Because there's 50,000 people who want it, and there's only 10,000. So that's why the gas prices shoot higher, because there's a limited amount of transactions that can go on a block. And so that's why you see the gas prices shoot higher. And this is your actually your advantage, is because most people can't afford $2,500 gas. If you can, you make a lot of money. You see what I mean? And so that's why it really pays to do the math in advance and if you do the math in advance break these things down you're going to understand your profitability and what gas you're willing to pay for right if the gas is actually double that then that means your 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 x is here right instead of you know 6xing you to be 3xing right so keep that in mind so i am expecting these to get to at least a one ethereum floor and that's kind of my breakdown mathematically here on the profits you should be expecting nothing is guaranteed that's just my logical judgment and assumption here and so that's how I'm looking to play it. Whether it's three to mint, six to mint, 12 to mint, if the gas is around 2,500 or less, I think it's gonna be a really profitable opportunity. And remember, the reason this is so profitable is because most people can't afford that gas. And so as long as you can afford that gas, you're usually putting yourself in a really good situation. Now, let's talk about another strategy. Let's say you can't afford this gas right here. Okay, what's another strategy? Well, another strategy is when these projects initially get launched, there's going to be people who are flipping right away. So let's say some guy is, a t he's at a 2x, right? We just broke this down. We think it's going to be a 3 to a 6x play here at least. Okay, but let's say some guy sees he's at a 2x profit. So let's say he, he sells it at like maybe 0.4 ETH, okay, right after the mint. So he got it for 0 0.07, but remember he paid gas, so really it's only like a 2x here, okay? So he flips it right away, dumps it right onto the market as soon as the mint is over. Guys, these are the ones you want to be picking up, okay? Because usually flippers will dump the price at like right after launch, and then after that you'll see the price run up, okay, for at least a day or two, and that's usually when you want to be getting out, okay? It's usually a day or two after the launch. That's when the hype and, and you know, the, the project reaches its you know, peak uh, usually in the short term, right? That doesn't mean the long term it won't go higher, but typically that's where the hype will kind of fizzle out and that's where you'll set a top is around one to two days after the launch. So that's another strategy, guys, right? Let's say you can't afford the gas, but you can't afford 0.4 Ethereum when it comes onto the secondary market. You can get this for 0.4 Ethereum. Let's say it shoots up to 1.2 Ethereum. You still make yourself a solid 3X right there, okay? So those are your two strategies. You either have the money to mint the public sale um, and, and pay for the gas, which could be $2,500 plus dollars. If you can do that, highly profitable opportunity in my opinion. And the second strategy is you want to buy on the secondary market when people uh, dump, basically when they're flipping for like a, a measly 2x because they don't realize that they could be getting a 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10x, right? So you want to pick up the flips that immediately dump onto the market after the launch uh, uh, and the mint is complete. So that's what we're expecting. That being said, there is that whitelist uh, that, that is available. I am actually on the whitelist, um, but I'm not going to give away all my secrets on how I do that. Obviously, you guys know to get on these whitelists, you got to go into Discord and you got to be basically a groupie for six hours and type messages and say you love the project, blah, 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 and all this bullshit. It's stupid. So basically, most people, you have to go be a groupie to get on the whitelist. Now, I have my secret tricks on how I get around going and being a fucking groupie, guys. I'm not going to waste six hours of my life going around and typing messages in a stupid little Discord like many of you would do. That's just me. Like I said, if you want to know my some of my tricks and my, my secrets here on how I get around and how I actually get into the whitelist and, and kind of expedite the process, 
And then make sure you join our coaching program where you get one-on-one -on -one coaching. I show you exactly why, how we're doing these things, uh, when to get in, when to get out, and so forth. But anyways, guys, that is your 3x minimum opportunity here this week is the Jungle Freaks. Um, and so, like I said, there's no official dates on exactly when they'll be launching everything. But this is what I'd be looking out for if I were you. So remember your two strategies. I've explained them in this video. If you don't remember, rewatch it. And this should be able to make uh, people thousands of dollars. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, don't forget to drop a like. Make sure you are subscribed. And I hope explaining some of the gas structure here helps you in making your decision and breaking down the profitability for yourself, guys. If you did enjoy this video, drop a like. Make sure you subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next video. Take care.